Hello, my name is Amanda Ruiz. I am a physical therapist and personal trainer. That means I help women like you fix a train around any issue and get in the best shape of your life. So if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you want to strengthen your low back and your core. Maybe you're a mom, you've been through a pregnancy, a delivery, and you know how that takes a toll on your low back and how your core muscles are not feeling how they used to feel. Or maybe you have low back pain and you know it's caused by your low back and your core muscles being weak. Just to give you a short explanation, the low back is supported by tiny little muscles that keep the vertebrae stabilized on top of each other. And those small muscles work in a dynamic relationship with your pelvic floor and your deep core muscles. So if one of these muscles are not activating at the right time, everything will be a little bit out of whack and that can cause low back pain due to an unstable spine, can cause issues with your pelvic floor, or just you feeling either having a gut like a little got hanging out or you're just feeling like you can't activate anything around you at all. So because these muscles might not be working the right way, doing regular ab exercises to strengthen your core might do more harm than good. So doing regular crunches, sit-ups, leg raises that might be actually just pulling more on your low back or not even activating the core like you want and creating even more issues for you. So instead you want to reactivate all these tiny muscles so the muscle synergy between them works better will stabilize and strengthen your core and from then when you've done that part you can start doing those heavier ab exercises. Exercise number one is a supine overhead reach. You want to keep your low back flat on the floor and you do that by making a posterior tilt with your pelvis. Now stretch your arms straight up into the ceiling and keeping this position in your low back, slowly lower your hands down towards the floor. If you feel your low back lifting up on the way to the floor, just stop the movement and exhale back to the starting position. If you can keep your low back on the floor, lower all the way down, gently touch the floor and then exhale back to the starting position. Repeat 10 times in 3 sets. Exercise number two is a glute bridge with your toes lifted to activate the posterior chain instead of your thighs. You want to lie on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor and make a slight posterior tilt of your pelvis. Your low back doesn't have to be completely flat on the floor, but you want to have a little bit of a tilt. Now lift up your toes so only your heels are on the floor and press through the heels, lift your hips up as high as you can. On the top, Hold for 5 seconds and really squeeze your glutes and feel your low back working. Lower down slowly and repeat 10 times in 3 sets. Exercise number 3 is the superman. Lie flat on your belly, stretch your arms up over your head and let the thumbs point up into the ceiling. Now lift up your chest, your thighs elbows, hands, knees and feet and hold the position for 5 seconds before lowering down. Inhale when you lift up. And exhale on the way down. Again repeat this exercise 10 times for 3 sets. Repeat this program minimum three times per week and in just two weeks you're going to feel a great difference. If you repeat this program minimum three times per week for one month, your low back pain will be gone and your core will be stronger than ever. My name is Amanda Luis. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and hit like. And don't forget to click the little bell so you get notified whenever I post content like this. You can also follow me on my Instagram, my blog, more free content just like this. And remember, train right, stay fit.